G'day YouTubers, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. Today we're going to talk you uh, through the process of recladding the van with uh, replacement aluminium. These are the rivets that we're using to replace the originals. They're a 3 16th closed end. It's important that you use a closed end. You can see the end of that rivet's closed over as opposed to these open-ended rivets. These leak when you put them in because there's a hole through the middle of them. So it's important that you use a closed end rivet to replace those originals. When riveting sheets that are underneath another sheet, you need a fairly low profile rivet. So we use these countersunk rivets, you can see there, they've got a countersink. And those sit nice and flat underneath the top sheet. If you use these, uh, the regular rivets, they've got like the rounded head, the bugle sort of head, um, they'll cause a bit of a bulge in the top sheet. So for underpinning and things, we use these countersunk rivets, and then for the exterior rivets, we use these closed end round head rivets. When we removed all the panels and things, we used the 3 16 drill bit, can see them there we buy them in bulk packs because we go through quite a few there's a couple of thousand rivets in the van so you're going to use a lot of these so buy a bulk pack of them and they are the the right diameter for your 3 16 rivet this is the trusty air driven rivet gun that we use to put the 3 16 rivets in they fit quite nicely in the end here this rivet gun we bought about 12 vans ago so it's done a lot of work and it's still going quite well the important thing is every every day when you use it, give it a squirt of lubricant in here. We either use an oil or a, um, a lanolin based spray lubricant. Um, that'll keep them operating quite good. This was bought off eBay for about $129, so it's not a lot of money to save you a lot of work. You'll have to either buy or hire a compressor to, uh, to drive it, but it's well worth the effort. So for the first sheet, you sicaflex the frame. Put the sheet in position, holding it, or you can clamp it. And then using the original holes behind, drill through with your 3 16 hole, put a rivet in, and that'll hold the sheet in place. Continue to drill the rest of the holes using the template of the frame, and put your rivets in. On the side, use a flathead rivet, where it's going to be underneath the next sheet. So when you start on the uh, cladding, you start at the back, theoretically, we have done a bit at the front there, but normally put uh, this sheet on first because everything overlaps forward of this. This one is overlapped by this one, and then the next sheet here will overlap this one and so forth all the way to the front. Isn't that right, Greg? That's right, mate. Nice thick bead of Sikaflex, which is the adhesive and the sealant uh, that we put on the sheet. So you can see here we've cut off the uh, cut off the protective plastic where the join's going to go. So if you glue over that, that'll peel off, and so will the sealant. So uh, yeah, cut that before you put the join on. You can see here where we've put the bottom sheet on. So when we're drilling from the inside, we put a wood block and then Greg drills through from the inside and that way we locate the holes in the frame. So you just get a block, push against it, you can see the see the sicker flex oozing out here. This just gives Greg something to drill against. So we go along, drill them all and then rivet. So once the hole is drilled you can just push a rivet through. You can see the Sikaflex oozing out around there and out here. That means we've got a good connection. So you just go along, rivet in every hole.
So here Greg's putting on the uh, Sikaflex. This is an overlap join, so it's uh, one of the waterproof joins. So a good, thick application of it. Uh, that window is going because there's going to be a fryer on the inside of it. So this window here will disappear. So when it comes to doing these corner sections, we basically pin the sheet along the edge and then we slowly wrap it around. We use ratchet straps and then clamps down one side to hold in position till we pin it with the rivets. As part of the cladding process, we install the window frames. It's important to do this because the cladding goes over the top. You can see up here, this cladding comes down to the sill and the sill is over the top of the frame. The importance of that is that it sheds water and the water goes out. So every layer of this in here has been sikaflexed in. So we've got sikaflex under the frame, between the frame and the sill, and between the sill and the top cladding so that water can't come down and ingress back up and into the frame. We clean these frames up before we put them in because they're quite hard to polish and things while they're, while they're in situ. So the actual frame that we've installed here has been paint stripped and, and sort of polished up fairly well to save doing it in situ. Same goes for uh, uh, these uh, butterfly hinges. And you want it all waterproof and things so do those before. We've got a separate video on how to clean up the windows and, and uh, we've got a little section on the hinges. Whenever you've got an edge like this that uh, you've got to put another piece of metal over but you want a good join, we just stick a flex under it and we put it on and then we uh, just clamp them up like that until the uh, sicker flex oozes out of it. Alternately you can put just a temporary rivet into it to hold it in place but we find these little clamps are better. You can see under here this is where we've we've panel beat that edge around and that just gives you a nice tidy edge. Um, we like to put a bit of a break in it every so often to allow any moisture and crap to run out. And it's the same all the way around in the corners and things, you just panel beat that around. You may need to do a series of cuts here to get it to roll around nice and even. So you can see the uh, rivet lines here all follow the original. So we've just followed the rivet lines on the inside of the frame and drilled out to realign all of these rivets back to where they originally were. A lot of rivets in a van, and you've got to get them all. There's a couple of thousand rivets in this van. You can see around the wheel arch, um, it's all riveted in as well. So, with these modern rivets and the uh, use of Sikaflex, this van should be nicely sealed up and good for another 60 or 70 years. So, that's the exterior all done. I'll just give you a quick walk around. Um, this trip over the dock. So all the window frames and things are in. We've covered over this rear window because there's a fryer going there and you can't have windows next to your fryer. So there you see it's all panelled out and ready for lining and electrical first fit. That's it for today folks, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you've got any questions about recladding your own van or your project, feel free to pop a question down there in the comments section and we'll endeavour to answer whatever we can and uh, try to help you out. So until next time, see ya.